Hello and welcome back, and today we're going to be playing Even Cages Even, yet another Sudoku variant puzzle. Now, kind of the exact reason why it's titled that will become very self-evident as soon as I turn over, but you can see that having neon-lit um, cages with even numbers on them, well, it certainly seems to be attracting a lot of the Paris. I don't know why they would be that attracted to it, but they seem to be pretty happy with the colors and the lighting. Um, if I was them, I wouldn't be. that. They look like cages with my name on it. Not that if you have a parrot, you would call it two or four. Well, before this goes awkward, let's just take a look at today's puzzle. So, Even Cages Even by Daniel Rockvin. We featured a number of his puzzles on the channel. And they've always been just absolutely phenomenal. Three rules for today, including classic Sudoku. We've got normal Sudoku rules applying. That means place the digits one to nine, once each in every row in every column and in every 3x3 three three box without any repeats. We have killer cages. Digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage and cannot repeat. Cages are made up of only even digits. Hence the title, Even Cages Even. So, this 10 cage can't be 1 and 9. Yes, they do add up to 10, but they're not even. So, if that was a 2, this would have to be an 8 to make sure these two cells add up to 10 and that they are both even. So this would have to be two pairs of digits that add up to 10, that would be four, six, etc., etc., etc. So this will be a fascinating puzzle. Now, the other reason I think it would also be fascinating is we also have the non-consecutive rules. Cells that are orthogonally adjacent cannot contain consecutive digits. So I can't place a 1 in here next to this 2, that wouldn't be allowed. I can't place a 7 in here next to this 8, that wouldn't be allowed either. So I'm really looking forward to this. It is a 1 star difficulty rated puzzle, believe it or not. I think it's just it's going to be exercising muscles for us that are, well, I'm going to say partially used. I think all the oil and water series that we have been playing are, have almost been practiced for puzzles such as this. So. If you feel like you've been conquering that oil and motor, you're ready to take take on even cages even, midweek, mind you. Link will be in the description down below as usual for you to play along. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock, see how I get on. So I am tempted to colour all the cages blue, blue for even. I know, I know, if you've watched oil and water I've been using, green... And <laughs> this is going to be confusing. Blue. A 20 cage does have to have all of 2, 4, 6, and 8. An 18 cage, though, can only be made up of 4, 6, and 8. Essentially, it's missing the 2. Because 2, 4, 6, and 8 do add up to 20. If its three cells are adding up to 18, and again, it's on the even digits, it can only be 4, 6, and 8. That gives me a 2 up here. That gives me an 8 up there. That is 4 or 6. And we're off and racing. We've got a digit in under a minute. Can never complain when that happens. Fairly sure this is 2, 6. Yeah, it can't be anything else. If it doesn't include a 2, the minimum will be 4, 6, which is too big. So it is a 2 with a 6 to be 8. That means these are 4, 8, and that 8 gives me an order. That's 8. That's 4. This is already at 12. To get to 18, that's got to be a 6. 2, 4, and 8, that means that is a 6. i um, not sure what this is. This is 2 or 4, because it's not a 6, and it's not an 8. That is not a 6. These, you can see from 2, 6, they are 4, 8, which makes these two 2, 6, which helpfully makes these two cells 4, 8, which actually do add up to 12. 3 that add up to 14. So I am missing a 6 from 2, 4, 6, 8. So this is 2, 4, and 8. That is not 4 or 8. That is a 2. These are not 2. That is 4, 8. Um, I probably should have colored the grid a bit more so I can actually figure out where all my even digits are. So I'm going to just quickly do that now. These are all odd digits. These are all odd digits. I need an even in one of these two cells, and it can't be where there's four of them in the column looking at it. So that's odd. That's even. 
these are all odd. Whatever this cell is, it's in here, it's in there. And we know what it is because 12th cage has to be 246. Therefore, all of these three cells are 8. That's another 24. Doesn't help me resolve this. This is 246 now that's left. That's not 8, that's a 4. That's a 2. Not 2s, not 4s. I'm sure I can do a bit better. These are all odd, odd. Odd, odd. Odd. That's even, and it's got to be a 6. Not 6. These are all odd. Got four of them in column eight. These are all odd. This is, box is done. That's done. That's done. That's the even digit. That's the odd digit. That is the even digit. And it's a two, which gives me a four in here. Gives me an eight there, a four there, a six here, a two there. That is eight. That is four. That is 6, that is 2. What is this cell? That's a 2. Is that as far as I could solve it with just evens? Um, am I missing anything? So I've got 4 evens in every box. The answer to that question is yes. That's solid. And... Yeah, I don't think I can solve it from here. So I'm probably going to have to pause apologies, just quickly take the dogs for a walk. It's a bit early, it's 2.30, but Mrs. Sleuth has made a decision. Mr. Sleuth supports the decision. I'll be right back. So apologies for the weird cut here. And uh, this time, maybe a little bit obvious that it was a, a huge cut because... Well, I'm wearing a different t-shirt, if you haven't noticed. Uh, it's not blue, it's grey. And uh, I'm shaven. It's been um, six hours or so since uh, I hit the pause button. Uh, so, fingers crossed I'll be able to pick things up where I left. Let's have a look. So yeah, I do remember thinking I may not be able to actually resolve all the even numbers. And it doesn't look like I can. I'm not seeing any pairs, for example, that forces a four or six or two anywhere. Neither in here, neither in there. So I think it's going to come down to... Like, stunningly, I think it's going to come down to using the odd numbers now. So remember, no consecutive digits are allowed. So if you think about the two, I can't have a one or three next to it. So 1 and 3 are restricted in here, which means I have 5, 7, and 9 between these three cells. I'm not sure I see the challenge. Again, we've got more of the 1 and 3. This can't be a 3, so we can actually place some of the odd digits now. That's a 3. Interesting. Oh, no. I was going to say interestingly. Yeah, actually, no, that, that is... An appropriate thought. So seven and nine. No, I can't actually place. I can't place a seven in here because seven would be adjacent to either six or eight. Neither would work. So this is five or nine. Seven can also not be adjacent to the six. So the seven can only be in here. This is five or nine. It can't be a five. So that's the nine. That's the five. That's the eight. That's the six. And I think that might give me, yeah, that might give me this grouping. Then let's see what do we have left. So these are, uh, what was it that's left? Seven and nine. I don't see a restriction in here. And these are one, three, and five. No real restriction there. Some restrictions here, mind you. Such as I can't place a five next to a four or six. These can't be five. That is a five. This is one, three. This is seven, nine. Nine has no restriction. The seven can't be next to a six. Okay. Progress will take it. Let's carry on. So 
So the four, so you see in general, I'm looking for an even digit that has three neighbors, because then it forces the adjacent digits into these two cells. So three and five can only be in one of these two cells. And that's a three, which gives me an order. That's a five, that's a three. Now I'm left with one, seven, and nine. Seven can't be next to the six, that's the seven. This is one and nine, and they're both fine. Five, you can see, can't be in this column in here in box nine, can't be next to the six or four. That is a five. I can't place... No, I'm not seeing it. Let me just see if there's anything else that's as useful. If they are, I'm, they're not as obvious as some of the ones I've already spotted. thing is, I'm really looking for ones that can help me resolve the last set of remaining even digits, and it's just it's proving quite tricky. So if I think about the remaining digits, I need a three. It can't be here next to the two, can't be here oh, because there's a three, can't be here because there's a four. That's the only place for a three, which means there's a three in here, it's not there, that's a three. And finally, three is in one of two places in here. I'm just gonna corner pencil mark it for now. Five, you can see is up there. In fact, five with Sudoku, this is just a five. These now are one, seven, nine. Neither the seven nor the nine can be next to the eight. So that's my seven, nine, and that's my one. One and three in here means this is five, seven, nine. I'll come back to that in a second. And this is my one, three. No real restrictions on the one, three. That's not five or nine, that's just a straight up seven. 9 can't be next to the 8, that's a 5, that's a 9. No real restrictions, like I said, on the 1, 3. That we can place, that's just a 5. So in here I need 1, 3 and 7. Aside from the 3 can't be here, 1 and 7 can be. 3 can't be next to the 2 nor the 4, that's a 3, that's the 1, 3, 1. These are 1 and 7, and the 1 can't be next to a 2, that's 1, that's 7. These now are 3, 9. 9 can't be next to the 8. That's 9, that's 3. That's 1, that's 9. We know what this digit is. It's a 7, which means that's not a 6. That's a 2. That's a 6. That gives me my last set of even digits. 4, excuse me. And um, we're making progress. We're nearly there, actually, I'm going to say. 1 and 9 is what I have left. Well, one can't be there. That's the one, that's the nine. This is five and seven. Five can't be next to the four. That's the five, that's the seven, that's nine, that's seven. I have one, three, and nine in here. These one, threes tells me that's not the one, three, that's the one, three, that's a one, three, one, nine, three. And if I've not, oh, hang on, I haven't quite finished. Five, I know what this is. That's seven, nine, and if I've not made any mistakes, nine for the solution. It's a beautiful puzzle, Daniel. I mean, I've come across consecutive, um, you know, no consecutive constraints before. It's just, this one was like different. This was different. I loved the fact that these were, you can place all the evens almost immediately. That you can resolve a lot of them and it's just, it's fantastic. It's kind of new logic that we haven't had before. Um, hope that you guys enjoyed the puzzle. I don't even know what we're going to have to recommend in here if you enjoyed it. But we did do a lot of parity puzzles on this channel. So there's a playlist that's coming right up. Bye-bye for now.